All right, we got the Dan Durston X-Med 2P tent here at about 12,500 feet in the San Juan Mountains of Southwest Colorado. Really interested to see how a trekking pole tent does in the wind. I've had, um, you know, typical um, pole tents, uh, freestanding pole tents, like big Agnes tents, and they sort of just kind of got flattened during strong winds uh, camping above the tree line. I mean, they'd pop back up. They weren't damaged, but you can't really sleep when your tent is collapsed on top of you in the middle of the night. It's not fun. We're kind of up here in uh, um, rocky, tundra-like ground, so not easy to get stakes in. You know, as opposed to being down in a meadow. Um, this site was already here, so I'm making do with it. Um, I got the stakes pretty close in all the way, but um, I think they could go in a little bit further if I was on softer ground. So I got rocks on three corners. I got all the extra tie-outs and guy lines out, so... I think I'm using 12 stakes. So the eight titanium shepherd hooks that came with the tent and four MSR uh, mini groundhogs, I think. Hopefully we don't get too crazy tonight. It's not supposed to storm, but you know, at this elevation, you just never know. You're getting hit. Got some hail coming down, some rain. Uh, X-Med 2P's handling it like a champ so far. You got this damn mosquito stuck in here too. Wind so far is pretty calm. We had a few gusts, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Nothing serious. But we still got the sun out over on this side. As you can see, tons of room in here. I'm kind of a, a little bit diagonal. So lots of room over there. And the thing that I like the best about it is the uh, size of the vestibules. They have excellent coverage compared to other tents that I've had. The inside is pretty close to uh, the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV that I also have. It's pretty close as far as interior space, but the vestibules on the X-Med 2P are much, much better. We just got hit by one pretty serious gust. It only lasted uh, maybe three to five seconds though, so... We'll see if uh, get hit with anything more long term, but x 2P held up. Here we go. Still standing. And now for round two with the drop x men 2P tent out here at Ice Lake. And we got a storm coming in just before noon. So we'll see how it does.
so after about four hours of wind and rain, uh, the X Mid 2P is still doing pretty good. Staying dry. Uh, wind hasn't uh, had any impact on it at all. Uh, the fly is a sill poly, I believe, as opposed to a sill nylon. And the benefit of that is that it doesn't um, take in moisture as a sill nylon would. So after rain, the fly doesn't uh, get, uh, I guess you could say waterlogged or soggy or saggy um, like most other traditional tents. So I'd say that's pretty accurate. This, uh, I mean, it got, took quite a bit of rain and I mean, it's not a... Uh, a drum tight pitch by any means, but it wasn't that way before either. Uh, you know, it's kind of difficult to get a perfect um, pitch in this tundra like soil. You're kind of limited with um, some of your uh, stakeout points. Anyway, hopefully, this uh, little quick um, depiction of the X Mid 2P in inclement weather uh, helped answer some questions for you guys uh, feel free to leave uh, questions or comments uh, below and i'll try to answer them i'll see you on the next one